Now, what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video. And today we will continue working on our search results list. So I just realized that we have this um, one class we added to our search result called uh, business info, but we're actually uh, not using it because previously we wanted to use it for the spacing between the image and well, this business info section but uh, we just put the margin uh, property, CSS property to the business image class. Uh, but we of course need this uh, class because I think our, just in terms of spacing, it kind of looks off, right? So this is just too small. It should expand. It should have like a certain minimum width. And we can also see that right here. So even though like, a smaller business info section would have been sufficient, like we still have enough white space so that it looks clean. Um, let's go back to the, to our class then. And let's just say a min width 400 pixels. So this should give our component a little bit of room to breathe and it should look a little bit nicer. Yes, that's pretty nice. Uh, now, one thing though, in the last video I already mentioned that uh, this part here, like somehow it looks off. So this font is just too big, uh, but that's a fairly easy fix. So we can go to back to our code editor and let's just give this a uh, new class and we will call it uh, styles dot, I don't know, maybe contact info. And then in our CSS file, we can just say um, dot contact info and essentially we want all paragraphs inside our contact info div to have like a smaller font size so I'm just going to add a p here and then I will say font size maybe 0.85 rem let's make it like a little bit smaller yes that looks much much nicer so now we have the thing properly over here. And uh, yeah, actually from the basic structure, it looks quite good, I would say. Um, if we go back to our screenshot, we see that, you know, there's some margin here at the bottom, but I think right now it's quite fine, actually. Let's just leave it like this for now. Um, the only thing we still need is we need a proper rating component. So like some stars, which indicate the rating of the customer of the customers and um, this one like we have here we have five stars and then the total amount of reviews next to it and we don't want to build out this rating component from scratch because it's just unnecessary so i kind of searched on github and found some pretty cool rating component it is called a react rating from grayus Grace cat yeah and um, this one is pretty nice so I'm just going to show you how it looks if you click on this then you see some images and right here you can also see nice we already have a star rating which is exactly what we want so let's go back and let's just start implementing this so let's just copy the instructions and um, let's cancel our, our run here and let's just npm install it. It shouldn't take too long after all. And we can already think about like what components we need. So our rating not only consists out of these uh, stars here, but it also consists of this text which shows how many reviews we have. So we should create an own component for it. So let's go back to our code editor and um, inside source. Let's create a new folder called business rating. And we do it inside source because this business rating component will only be used uh, in search. So although this will only be used in search, it's still a quite general component. So we might reuse it later on. It's not super specific. Uh, to the search component itself. So let's create a business rating.js file for the actual component. 
and a business rating.module.css file for the CSS. And inside here, we can say import React from React. And let's create a skeleton so we can say business rating. And then we can return something. Okay, so so far we're not doing anything. We're just returning. Hmm. Let's maybe return a div. Business rating. Nice. And we still need to wire this up to our uh, search results, to our search result component. So instead of this uh, paragraph here, let's use our new business rating component. So right now it's only text, but that's totally fine. I just want to show you that, uh, oops, of course we need to start it again, sorry. Uh, let's pull this over here. And um, yes, so we have this text here, business rating, that's fine. And now we can start working on the rating component itself. And I already said it's some form of horizontal layout because we have the stars and the total amount of reviews. So we are going to put all of that inside a flex container. So let's do this first because it's pretty easy. So let's go to our uh, CSS class, uh, to our CSS file and create a new class and let's call it rating. And inside here we will say display flex and we want all items to be vertically aligned. That's why we'll, we'll say align item center. And now, of course, we still need to use our newly created class. So we're going to import the styles that we just created. And then we will say in here, we'll give it a class of styles.rating. Cool. So now, oops, styles. And like this. Okay, so in here, we can now start working on our rating component. And let's just go to the documentation real quick and check it out how it works. So if we click on this demo here again, then maybe let's scroll down to this. Um, Somewhere I saw the stars here. Okay, we have some stars here and this one at the bottom doesn't look too bad, but maybe let's use uh, this one. Okay, so apparently what we have to do is we have to use this rating component and uh, there's this prop empty symbol to which you can pass a um, font awesome uh, icon. So this is the icon that will be that will be displayed if the rating is empty and the full symbol if yeah if we want to display a full star and then you can also say how many fractions you want so if you want to have like uh, if you want to be able to render half of a star for example so that makes total sense uh, let's go ahead let's co just copy this let's go back to our component and let's just paste this in here and we need to import our rating component from a React rating, okay? So that looks fairly okay. Now let's, let's just think about like what we want, like for an empty component, maybe let's go to font awesome and let's just search for a star. Um, this one, I guess. Yes, so this one basically for this star icon, we only have the outline, uh, but we don't have it like filled. And this is exactly what we want. So it is FAR and then FA dash star. So let's replace this stuff here with FAR, FA dash star. Oops, FA dash star. And of course, we also need some filled uh, star to indicate to have a different icon. So, and it, this one is FAS and then FA dash star. Okay. So this one is FAS, 
fa dash star okay that looks quite okay and apart from that what else do we need yeah fractions too so we want to display half stars and uh, let's just and there's also something else so there is something called uh, read only and if we pass this prop then people cannot you know change the rating which makes total sense because we don't want people to change uh, the rating. And there is also something called initial rating. Um, so this one will give our rating component the its initial value. So let's do that as well. Let's make it read only and let's give it an initial rating of uh, three maybe. So we should actually already see something. Yes, nice. So we already display the stars, uh, but I already see we are already over 10 minutes. So let's just stop the video right here and let's continue in the next section. Thank you very much for watching. Now please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.